In this video we will show you how to create your Microsoft Azure account, add a subscription to your account and connect it to SAP Cloud Appliance Library. Finally you will create your first appliance in your subscription and connect to it. To log in or create a Microsoft account go to azure.microsoft.com. Select the free account option and provide the required details. A verification code will be sent to your email address. Once you receive the code and your email is verified, your new account will be created. Now you need to provide additional information to complete your profile. Once you've read the customer and privacy agreement, select the checkbox and click next. To verify your identity you need to provide your credit card details. No fees will be charged unless you change your preferences regarding the pay-as-you-go pricing. Choose Sign Up and you will be redirected to the Azure portal. Navigate to the Microsoft Azure portal. Go to Home at the top left and choose Subscriptions. Select the subscription you've just created. On the left side select Access Control IAM. Choose Add at the top and then Add Role Assignment. Now select the Owner role from the list and choose Next. To add yourself as a member select Members and search for your name or email address. Then choose Save to create the role assignment and choose Review and Assign. Now you can use your Azure subscription and create an appliance. Log on to cal.sap.com and watch our video on creating your SAP Cal user account for additional information. Choose Appliance Templates. In the overview, choose Create Appliance for the appliance you intend to use. On the Account Details screen, choose Create a new account to connect the Azure account to your SAP Cal tenant. Note that you can also connect Azure accounts and manage them in the Account section under Configuration. Select Microsoft Azure as the cloud provider. You need to enter your Azure subscription ID which you can copy over from your Azure account. You need to grant SAP Cal access to your Azure Active Directory. There are several authorization types for this. If you don't have administrative permissions in Azure Active Directory, choose Authorization with Application. Where possible we recommend you use the standard authorization type for the best performance. The types are documented in the info button. Choose Authorize and you'll be forwarded to Microsoft where you must log in to your account and grant permission to SAP Cal. On the right hand side you can see a cost forecast for this appliance template based on the runtime and expected monthly storage. Note that the cost forecast varies according to the region you choose. On the appliance details screen you need to enter an appliance name, a region and a master password that will be set for the users indicated in the Getting Started Guide. The Advanced Mode deployment offers more configuration options and settings. For details watch our video on creating an appliance with Advanced Mode settings. Choose Create and the appliance deployment will start. An individual key for accessing the appliance backend on operating system level is generated. You can download it and store it in your Cal tenant. Note the appliance trial restrictions. The appliance deployment is now running unattended and you can follow its status until it changes from activating to active. Once it is active, you can connect to the appliance. The connect button takes you to the access links for your appliance. You can access it using a pre-configured Windows desktop or using client tools on your local PCs. When you choose the RDP service to connect to the Windows desktop, a pop-up appears asking you to allow a remote desktop connection. Choose Connect and enter Administrator as the user and the master password that you provided when you created the appliance. Now you can see the pre-configured Windows RDP server and directions on how to further access the system. You have successfully created a Microsoft Azure account started your first appliance and connected to it and now you can start exploring the content and business cases you are interested in. Check out the description for the link to our SAP Cloud Appliance Library community to get in touch with our experts and explore more learning videos such as creating appliances in advanced mode 
and creating your SAP Cloud Appliance Library user account. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.